Hi guys! In this video I built a A10C Thunderbolt. You're gonna see how I use a toothpick, play with resin, make injection and finally paint the model. This academy kit looks very promising on the box. Inside there is very strange instruction manual divided in two parts, a lot of plastic elements, there is also decal sheet and masks for canopy and wheels. I'm also going to use two sets of resin adjustments from DEF model. Starting with the front landing gear bay, the construction of which seems to be very well designed, I'm going to hand paint as much as I can and use part of the decals only for the most difficult elements. My model will be in the switched off mode, so I paint the monitors black. A toothpick makes a good tool to paint small buttons. few decals from the kit I use when it's too hard to paint by hand. The same way I make rest of the controls and I put it all together. The nose section is quite complex, so I made sure all fit good before I glue it. These one-piece molds looks great, however there are seam lines I have to remove, which turns to be a delicate job due to the raised rivets and details all around. The fit is very good and I can move to the wings assembly. Flaps in the wings are quite tricky to place inside and regardless of the location pins they seem to stick out too much. But apart from that the wing assembly is quick and easy.
Resin parts have to be cut out from their protection and bases. And before I put them in place, there are some plastic parts modifications to be done. To connect resin and plastic I use CA glue. This is how I added a nose wave and because I replaced some plastic parts in the engines with the heavier resin, I added more weight to the nose than instructed, just to make sure the model stands on three wheels. These four dots are remains of the pave penny sensor mount that was used in the older versions. To make them look more realistic I use a needle. Just for the painting phase I mount the canopy on the masking liquid so I can remove it later with no issues. The whole model gets a primer put on. And next I'm going to test a quick technique to make some pre-shading effects. With help of paper patterns I spray black stains with various density and brown for more diverse color. White I use to highlight the upper surfaces. And when all is done, I go with the black to outline panel edges. Now, the paint job difficulty is to add just enough to cover the surface and not to ruin the previous effect in the same time. Second color I'm adding after the masking. Here is the result. With a little bit of weathering after, I think it's going to look nice. Most of the painting is done, but before I close this part, I want to give you a little teaser of what is going to happen in the next one. So, here is the front landing gear, built straight from the box. I decided to improve the lights and add some cables, so it looks more realistic. After removing the transparent parts, I drilled the light cover and painted chrome inside. With the cotton bud, I removed the excess.
uh, copper wires I used to imitate what I believe is an electric wires. And on the, at the back I add one more, this time it's black. And I think the result is worth the effort. So in the next video you can expect more of these. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. And as always, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.